Hey everybody, welcome back to Coach G World. I've got a quick tutorial for you using um, patterns to create this particular effect um, using a little generator and it's not difficult so with just a few steps we can get here without having a million layers in place and copying and pasting a whole bunch of dollar bills. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so as you can see here, I've imported a dollar bill. Uh, I'll just, you know, bring it down a little bit, make it a little bit smaller. Um, and I'm going to change the name of my layer with the dollar bill that is on it to dollar bill. And as you can see, we have a background layer that's white. Uh, it's not really going to matter, uh, you know, because I'm going to try to fill the whole image with dollar bills, as you saw on the initial image on this video so instead of having to like do this you know a whole bunch of times and manipulate it we're going to go a much quicker route so first thing I want to do is get the rectangular marquee tool I can get the shortcut by hitting the letter M or I can go over to the toolbar and select it myself so with the rectangular marquee tool, I'm gonna just create a little selection around this dollar bill. Um, and with that selected, I wanna go to edit and define pattern. So the pattern I'm gonna name it is dollar bill official. Doesn't really matter for this particular example, but that's what we're gonna define the, um, the pattern as. So. After I've clicked OK, the next thing I want to do is uh, open the fill menu. So I could either get there by hitting Shift F5, or what I can do is go up to Edit and simply find the fill menu. So as you can see, there's the shortcut Shift F5, um, but I'll open that. This um, is basically what we're looking for, but if your contents are set to like background color or something, you're going to need to change it to pattern. So once pattern is selected, we're looking for our custom pattern, and that is the one we created right there. So make sure that if script is not selected, we wanna click script. Random fill is what we're looking for. Uh, I think by default it might be a set to brick fill or something, but we're looking for a random fill. Mode behind is fine, opacity 100%, and I'm gonna click okay. So. After I've clicked OK, you can see the random fill options here on screen. I've got density, um, and you can see what happens if I lower the density, you can see um, a whole lot less on screen. But if I raise the density, there is a lot more on screen. So I'll leave it like that. Uh, minimum scale factor, I'll leave it at 0 0.68 is fine. Maximum scale factor, you could kind of understand what that is by <laughs> thinking of it in reverse and you can see that is fine with 1.34 now this is pretty interesting is the color randomness um, it is as it sounds which are um, you know many things in Photoshop uh, color randomness if I just moved it to that 0.42 you can see the different um, options you have there that's a little less uh, intense right there but I'm gonna take it all the way down to zero to have the true color of money and brightness randomness obviously is going to kind of give you a little bit more um, of a little tint of uh, you know brightness in there to kind of you know change up the image a little bit but I'm gonna click OK and after clicking OK, you can see the pattern generated right here. There's a little bit of white space right there. Um, we wanted to make sure we rasterize that layer prior to any of those changes. Um, but, you know, that's not bad. I'm going to go back. And so this is what it would look like as, um, you know, an image that is not rasterized. So, I, again, I want to go back and try to fill the whole screen up. Uh, let's do this really quickly. Let me go ahead and right click on that layer, click rasterize, and I've already got my pattern set, so let me just go back to fill. We're gonna, everything is fine there, it's set as is, but 
in our density um because i didn't catch there was some spots down here that were um not quite full so i'll bring it up i'll bring the density up and there we go um everything is covered there's no background color of white on there and that's it that was a really quick easy way to generate all those dollar bills on your screen if it was only that easy to make money in real life it would be great but instead here in photoshop you've got a few simple things to do defining the pattern um, selecting and finding that particular pattern and being able to adjust sliders to your liking and you can create an image like this or anything else your mind thinks of so uh, if you have any questions about this particular um, effect or <laughs> workflow feel free to leave a comment in the comment section if you haven't already uh, make sure you subscribe turn the bell notification thing on and uh, appreciate all the viewers I've been getting and once again I hope you enjoyed this tutorial until next time, peace.